comparison of heat and work at this point it is evident that there are many similarities between heat and work At one, similarity is heat and work are both transient phenomena. Heat and work are both transient phenomena. System never causes heat or work, but either or both cross the system boundaries when a system undergoes a change of state. The second similarity is both heat and work are boundary phenomena. And three, both heat and work are part functions and in exercise differential. Our part function. and in exact differential. It should be also noted that plus Q represented He transfer to the system and thus is energy added to system. And plus W represented work, positive W represented work down by system, thus energy leaving the system. Another illustration may help explain the difference between heat and work is the figure here, shown here, shows a container in a rigid vessel. Resistance coils are bonded around the outside of the first boundary condition. Let me make these parts when current flows through the resistance coils the temperature of the gas increase which crosses the boundary of the system heat or work in this part part A the heat 
transfer crossed boundaries and in part B work at this point is battery can be the sole effect of this battery can be can raising a weight as described in the previous videos so in this case board transfer cross the boundary Or as another example, consider a gas in a cylinder fitted with a mu bevel piston as this picture. As shown in the picture, there is a positive heat transfer to gas. which tends to increase the temperature it also tends to increase the gas pressure and it does not increase gas pressure however the pressure is dictated by the external force acting its movable boundary here as discussed in the section 2 if this remains constant then the volume increase instead There is also opposite tendency for a negative heat transfer that is one out of the gas. Um, consider again the positive heat transfer except that in this case the external force in the density decrease. This causes the gas pressure to decrease so that the temperature tends to go down. In this case there is a simultaneous tendency toward the temperature change in the opposite direction which effectively decouples the direction of the heat transfer and temperature change. Often we want to evaluate the final amount of energy transferred as either work or heat. We must integrate the previous relation. In order to perform the integration, we must know how the rate varies with time. For time periods when the rate does not change significantly, when the rate does not change significantly, A simple average may be sufficiently accurate
multiplying real time for the time periods in the weights does not change significantly a simple average may be sufficiently accurate and the relation is in as this expression this is similar to information given on your electricity unit is in kilowatt hours This is the end of this section. The next section is the engineering applications.